Good morning and welcome back to another video. So here's what's coming up today. What have you done? What have you done, boys? Come on now, we'll see how good you are now, Becky. We'll see now how good he is. He's walking in his knuckles. So um, so I ordered six ton, but it won't be coming out till next week. So I'm taking away um, two ton with me today. I just fit in whatever 20 bags here and I'm going to come in for 20 more later it's because it's Friday and there's a nice bit of drizzle over the weekend now so it's better to spread spread it today when the weather is nice and mild as well. Conditions are ideal and that's why we're fairly eager to spread it today. Um, I'm filling the quad spreader here with the fatter and I'm also filling the gator. We have a John Deere gator we got there a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it's a bit of a trek, it's about a mile over through our own fields and it just be very slow to come back and forth with the quad and plus there's like six or seven gates of fields to go through and it's just a pain so it's just a lot easier to carry all the fertilizer over there and um and spread it that way so there's 16 acres total so i just have to make two trips myself and we're spreading just around the bag to the acre roughly and as pasture sward we're using as our fertilizer as our second round we used urea in the first in the first round as that's more suited to to the wet damp conditions but this kind kind of starts out the peas and k's and works well for us um so the place we're spreading here today um like i said is 16 acres but it's very rough ground we consider it a field it's obviously not as good as these fields here now that we're driving through but my father would have reclaimed it about 40 years ago, it would have been all forest bushes and rushes and everything, but it's one of our best growing grass fields, um, but very rough ground, but it, a lot of yaws and lambs go through it, and it's a super field for us. So we're back over to this rough ground again, where he, where he always seems to do some harm with the quad, but the question is, will, will he turn it upside down today? We're back in for the second load now. Um, I'm going to put some in the back of the Jeep as it's a lot of weight, a ton of weight for them small tyres. Um, and what we're using is pasture sward 27 2.55. Um, we find it the best best for growing grass for a second round, so so yeah, we've plenty of it to spread now. Where are you going to the rope now? What's that to happen, eh? What's that to happen, eh? You turned over what? You turned over the quad? So on the way down, I said I'd throw the drone up to see what damage was done, and I was in for some shock. I couldn't believe my eyes. What have you done? What have you done, boys? Well. Oh my God, lads! Jesus Christ, lads! Make a seize about nothing. No, no. Oh my god. About nothing. It's out. What have you to say for yourself this time? What was the cause, man? I didn't know the cause. 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 I didn't know the it is a mighty advertisement for a wild cost spreader and a Suzuki 450. Every person should get one because they are indestructible. Quite turned over and spreader and he had his Larry back. <laughs> you can see this lamb here. He's walking on his knuckles. So um, it's not a major, major problem. So I'm just going to bandage him up and make him walk on the and his hoofs so hopefully it'll improve there so I'll leave him on, <laughs> let the bandages on for a few days and because I can't be comfortable 
walking nearly on your knuckles. So that's a bit better now. I'm gonna have to put on some tape for a bit of support and straighten him a little bit. Um, they'll hopefully straighten out over the next few days now, and I'll take him off then in a few days. See how he goes. At least he's not walking on his knuckles. So has to be more comfort for him. Might be a bit. His legs might be a small bit strained now for a bit um, because I straighten him a bit, but it should. Um, I'm just going to give him a pain reliever there for it. Hopefully he'll be alright.